Hey guys, welcome you all in T3P. Technology to the point. In this quick video, I am going to say how you can use ChatGPT and what exactly the ChatGPT. So it can help you to learn DevOps. And if you don't know anything, don't worry. It will help you to start your journey from the very beginning. And if you know that you want to excel now in your DevOps journey, then also it can help you with the resources. So how to use ChatGPT? Let's understand. There are three fields here. You can see one of the in the center. You can see how you can search for the uh, result. Second, what is the capability and third, the limitation of this tool. Le left hand side, you can see the it's like a table of content or we can say the quick links, you will get it, whatever you are searching. And the most important thing in the down here, it is an input prompt where we ask our query. So first, I'll start from the very basic, like when I don't know anything about DevOps and I want to learn it. So in this tutorial video, we'll talk about the devops only so first thing i'll search when i don't know anything about devops so i'll search is what is devops and why it is is it important not only this we will ask we will look for the shortest answer so with short description so we are looking just for short description so it will give us a response like four to five lines not a big response so why why i'm searching here this query because i don't know anything i just want to get inside what exactly if i'm interested then uh, only i'll go further so here i understood that devops is a software engineering culture and we can see the practices which help us to understand or the emphasize on the collaboration and the communication between the development and operations team what we are looking for and what is the uh, goal of this one to improve the speed quality and reliability of developing software so we understood okay we got the idea what is devops and why it is important because it helps organization to deliver software faster and more efficiently reduce downtime and improve the overall customer experience so i understood why it is important and uh, i can also understand that if i learn this thing these skills that definitely my value in the organization will increase so definitely i'll go further to learn more but i don't know anything about devops then how how i should start so what i'll search how to start learning devops as beginner okay but this time we will ask for with uh, detailed explanation step by step this is what we will ask for and see how we are getting the response while it is searching the response uh, i'll make this video a bit quicker so we can save our time for the next prompt we will enter So guys, now you have seen that we got the, the response that how to start. So here they will uh, give just an step by step what we should follow. So let's go through them. Gain a basic understanding of software development and operations before deep diving. Then we need to learn key DevOps tools and technologies. What are the tools? We will look for that one as well. Get hands-on experience with DevOps tools. And then we should join our DevOps community that will help us to get up to date. Then we can use books articles and we can attend conferences to build our skills more further and then we need to continuously practice and refine our skill set so this is how you need to start learning devops as a beginner but i did not get much insight what content i need to go through so what i look now i look for the devops roadmap with detailed explanation along with resources so the thing is the uh, uh, and also what i want the response with headings i'll just put like this way and uh, then see how the responses i'm getting and uh, i'll make it bit quicker as well so it can help us to save time
so guys uh, now you can see we got the response much better and with the resources what we are looking for so, uh, you get understood understanding what exactly these steps are what we got it in the previous response so now what we understood it's uh, more related to the tools and we can say the practices so now we'll learn um, or we can say we will look for the 15 most important tools to learn devops to become master and uh, this time i'll write bit different i'll look for blog post with headings so it will give me more pre precise response what i'm looking for because i use it for my search so now you can see uh, we are getting the tools with the numbers and also we are getting the response as well so it will help me to understand why i should uh, what exactly the git is and why it is important similarly for the jenkins we are getting similarly we will get the response for all 15 tools and uh, let's generate complete it then we will see further what we are looking for So guys, uh, we got the half response because if you see now here, it is not asking for stop generation, it is asking for regenerate response. What we need to do in this case, because we asked for 15 tools, but we got only the 12 and that is not complete. So in this case, whenever you get, uh, you ask for bigger response and it did not provide it because there is a fixed length defined. So in this case, if you want to continue our uh, response, you just need to press uh, type continue on press enter once you will do it your response will start from here itself so it's a continuation of the previous response so it can happen multiple times when you are looking for more more bigger response so you can use this field continue so it will be very helpful so you will get the proper response sometimes people don't know and they search it again and again and they get the half response so this is how you can tackle this problem with chat gpt so guys, uh, now you see that we got all the 15 tools and uh, now you, you have an idea how to start, you have the uh, roadmap, even you also have the understanding of all the 15 tools. Now you can start with any of the tools, here you can see we got the network error but that's not a problem because we got all the response, you can copy it from here and you can paste it somewhere else. Otherwise, you can come here and any point of time it will be available. But as this is the free model right now, so we are not sure about how many days it will be there. So it's better whenever you get the content, you just copy and paste it somewhere else where you can refer easily. Now, uh, for what to do further? Now you got the idea about the tools, what you need to learn. Similarly, what we use it here for DevOps, like so similarly you can start with the git like how to start learning git and uh, what is the roadmap for, for same with the similar prompt just uh, replace devops with the git similar for the jenkins so it will give you the uh, content that you need to go through now you can avoid searching on the google because it will give you the links and then again you deep dive into the links itself it is forwarding here to there so now you have the simple thing to learn that you can use to excel your journey with devops so i hope you find this video helpful if you find it then don't forget to click on like button that will help you to encourage to work even harder for you and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more learning resources so see you in the next video with more learning tips and tricks